Johnson has received the invitation of President Marcos of the Philippines, extended in consultation with the President of Korea and the Prime Minister of Thailand, for a conference of the Chiefs of State or Government of the Asian nations which are contributing military forces to assist South Vietnam in the struggle against aggression and which are together looking for an honorable peace. President Johnson is glad to agree to this invitation. He will be pleased to join the meeting of other chiefs of state or government who are participating in the Vietnamese effort. From the White House, Presidential Press Secretary Bill Moyers announces U.S. participation in a seven-nation summit conference on Vietnam, which will take chiefs of state to Manila. This beautiful city in the Philippines will play host to America's Asian allies. This nation, along with South Vietnam, South Korea, Thailand, Australia, and New Zealand, all have troops fighting beside U.S. soldiers against the Viet Cong. <laughs> President Marcos, who proposed the meeting, officiates at ceremonies which send the advance units of an eventual 2,000-man force to Vietnam. Most of the officers are veterans of the Korean War. These troops fill engineering, security, health, and other non-combatant roles. South Korea's famous rock troops are a part of a 39,000-man force from this nation supporting U.S. military action in Vietnam. They've also sent a fully staffed mobile hospital. The United States has 311,000 combat troops now battling the Viet Cong. The Manila Conference will review the prospects of negotiations leading to a peaceful settlement of the conflict. The conference announcement follows closely on the heels of peace proposals by Arthur Goldberg in the United Nations. South Vietnamese troops number 707,000 in the struggle against the North. Social, economic, and political problems of the region will also be discussed by the conference. Australian soldiers total close to 5,000 as their contribution in the battle. Thus, the seven-nation Manila Conference will be of vital concern, not only to the more than one million men under arms in Vietnam, but to an entire world anxious for peace with honor.